everybody, how's it going? I hope you're so well. Today, we're doing a favourites video. It is my August favourites today. I can't believe it's September. I don't know, A, where this year has gone. I don't know where summer has gone. It's been four months, nearly, since my friends got home from uni, which is... <laughs> my friends are going back to university this month. That is insane to me. They're starting their second year at uni, like, what the hell? Sorry, I just had to change the angle because I can't tell if I'm in focus and it's driving me insane. In pure kind of end of the month fashion, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the things that I've been loving this month. And it's called a favorites video, so let's go. Okay, I have one fashion favorite, so I'm just gonna get that out of the way. And it is what I'm wearing right now. Now, you guys will have seen this if you follow me on Snapchat, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Twitter. Basically, if you follow me on any of my social media sites, you will have seen this jumper. Huh. Hello, hangry jumper. This is a cropped jumper from Topshop. Oh my god. I am so in love with this jumper. It's ridiculously soft. It's super, super comfortable. It's completely adorable. It describes how I feel most of the time. And obviously it is repping my favorite animal of all time, the great white shark. This jumper is basically everything I live for. I'm pretty sure this is the best purchase I've made in such a long time. If you're interested in buying this jumper, it will be linked down below, as will all of these products, if you wanna check any of them out. I've also got one hair thing, so I might as well get that out of the way. Then we can start talking beauty and music, which is what we're here for, basically. Working in a beauty wholesaler, obviously I'm surrounded by new shampoos all the time, and this one intrigued me, so I uh, tried it, and I really, really like it. It is the Weller Oil Reflections Luminous Reveal Shampoo. Um, I literally washed my hair about half an hour ago. And what I love about this is it feels really light. It doesn't weigh my hair down and my hair feels genuinely clean. And I have a tendency to get quite a dry scalp, I always have, and I found that this has really, really helped with that. It's nowhere near as bad as it can be. I actually really like how it smells. It's like I honestly couldn't tell you what this smells like. I can't describe it. My hair hasn't got bored of it yet, which is something that happens so quickly with my hair. My hair just gets weighed down and bored with products. And this hasn't done that yet, so bang in. All right, kids, let's talk about some makeup. There's a massive theme this month with the makeup. Everything is very glowy. There is nothing, well, okay, that's a lie. Okay, everything's glowy apart from one product. I've just been all about that super luminous base. I don't know if you can tell today. Like, I'm all about the glowy highlight, the proper bronzy skin. Like, ooh. <laughs> Let's start from the base upwards. I've been loving a product that was quite big on YouTube a couple of years back. And I never jumped on the bandwagon. And I bought it especially for the All Over Highlighter Challenge. Um, and obviously, because I bought these products, I have to use them now. So, I've... Really, I've discovered some really nice like glowy products. So this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi, wait, that's a lot. Lumi Magique Base Primer. <sighs> I love this. Whenever I'd see people like swatching it and stuff, I'd always be like, oh, it looks quite pink. But it's not, it, it, it doesn't have that pink kind of pearlescence to it. It's just like a really nice light glowy base that you can use as a highlighter on top of your foundation, mix it with your foundation. I'm wearing it underneath my foundation today because I like that kind of glowing from within look that everyone's trying to achieve nowadays. Um, this stuff's beautiful, it doesn't make my skin feel oily, like it looks glowy but it doesn't feel sticky or just, it doesn't change the kind of texture of your foundation at all because I hate that when you put like a glowy base on and then your foundation slides off and you're like not what I signed up for. This makes my skin look amazing and I first kind of realised it in my um, baddie makeup tutorial which I think was my most recent video before this one. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and my skin looked really good in that video and I think it's because of this. My next favourite of the month has been the Tarte Rainforest of the S Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer or aqua sealer, aqua sealer. For starters, look how beautiful this packaging is. I really rate Tarte's packaging. That looks beautiful. And I also, for comic reasons, really enjoy the size of this Dofo applicator. Look how large that is. 
just really tickles me. <laughs> I really love the coverage of this. So I'm in the shade Fair, which I think might be the lightest. It is so bright and so light that I just put it underneath my eyes and it properly awakens, awakens my face and it lasts all day. When you blend this out, it will not go anywhere. The more you kind of pounce it in, the thicker it gets, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this has the most beautiful consistency, the most beautiful finish, lasts so well. I'm wearing it underneath my eyes today. If you think my eyes look particularly bright, that's why I really highly recommend it. Now, I have jumped on a bandwagon that I have been wanting to jump onto for a really long time. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Everybody loves this, and I'm always that person who's like, no. But then I bought it. My skin just feels like amazing. Um, I use this to bake every day. I use it to set that um, Tarte concealer and these two are just a match made in heaven. Like this is not going anywhere when you put this on your face. But I actually use this also to set my cheeks so that my contour and my bronzer and everything doesn't go on muddy. It's just a beautiful finish on your skin. It keeps me nice and matte and just does exactly what it says on the tin with like a really fine powder, doesn't look heavy, doesn't look cakey. There's a reason why everyone talks about it and now I understand why. So I've been loving this this month. I now have a bronzer, a blush and two highlighters and then we'll move, move, we'll move on to the music. Uh, let's start with the bronzer. So the bronzer I've been loving, I also picked up for the all over highlighter challenge. This is the makeup... <coughs> Sorry, I just inhaled some powder. The Makeup Revolution Vivid... Bi <laughs> makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. It's kind of like a knockoff of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, but I don't even care. Like, it's such a pretty colour. It's like a light bronzy orangey colour and I've been using this a lot as blush um, I've just been kind of applying it to the outer perimeter of my face just bronzing it up in like a really glowy kind of way it looks really nice in selfies it just really picks up the light nicely and it just looks nice on an everyday kind of basis you have to use it quite sparingly because the second you put too much on it's like metallic you don't want that just imagine that on your cheek and it's so cheap. This is really inexpensive. So if you want a nice shimmery, bronzy, highlighty colour, this would look beautiful on dark skin tones as like a highlighter. Oh my god, I'm inhaling things everywhere. I've never been a big blush person, but as you can see today, I'm wearing blush and I have been wearing blush basically every day this month because of this. This has been like proper hyped up on YouTube and I never thought I'd try it and then I burped. And Tarte kindly sent me a little goodie bag of things and this was one of them. This is the Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed and it is the perfect nude everyday blush. It's super duper wearable, quite sheer but pigmented at the same time. When you put this on, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm wearing it today. It's just super wearable, goes with every makeup look, natural blush. And I just love the packaging. I just think it's so cute and sleek and lovely. Again, also inside that little goodie bag was the exposed highlight from Tarte. And it's a beautiful champagne gold shade and it is so soft. The texture is wonderful. It's just there. And they work so well together. Um, they both photograph really nicely, like in pictures, if I go out clubbing, it just hits the light really well and the blush shows up, it doesn't bounce back. I would say that they last 12 hours, which is pretty, pretty exciting. If you haven't tried any of Tarte's blush, or really face products, like there's three products from Tarte here, it's, it's by far my favourite brand at the moment. Um, if you've never tried Tarte, Seriously, go for it because their stuff is banging. Okay, the final makeup favourite is from Sleek and everybody's been talking about it and I'm kind of late to the party, but it is the Solstice palette. Oh, something dra dropped, dropped. Eh. Love all of them. Um, only recently though have I liked the cream. I didn't use the cream when I first got it because I've never really... 
I don't know, it just looked kind of a bit too cool toned for me. Seriously though, if you put this on and then you whack one of the highlighters on on top, like that is a highlight that just will not stop. It's what I'm wearing today, tip of the nose. This cream is amazing for the tip of the nose. It just, it's just such a, look at the back of my hand. It's just such a beautiful palette and it's like the pinky purple shade. It looks really unwearable, but it's not if you, you like if you have super super fair skin that would look amazing on you like an icy icy purple lilac highlight like that would look amazing so those are my beauty favorites now uh let's rock on over to my music favorites actually tv favorite how can i try and get through an august favorites without talking about stranger things okay i um wasn't convinced about stranger things when i first started it I was kind of like just underwhelmed, I don't know. I think it's because I started watching it quite late and everybody was talking about it. So I had this like massive hyped up view, like vision of it because everyone was talking about it. And then um, Tim was like, do you want to watch Stranger Things? And I was like, oh my God, everyone's talking about it. Let's just do it. And the first episode I was like, uh, mm. and then by the end, I was completely addicted completely invested in the characters the child actors were incredible um the music was just amazing so amazing like the music literally held you in the palm of his hand because it was so just i don't know they just nailed it it was so accurate to the period and like everything was just great i really really enjoyed it um yeah and so did Tim. Tim loved it. So the two of us were literally like, Stranger Things? Stranger Things. Like, <laughs> crazy, like, old married couple watching TV every night. Oh my god. Okay, another favourite. I know it's technically not an August favourite because I went and saw it last night. But Tim and I went and saw Sausage Party last night. It was literally everything I thought it would be and more. That last scene, not the final scene, but the second... You know the scene I'm talking about. Fucking hell. The most intense thing I've ever watched. And like, I I just can't, I couldn't process everything that was happening on the screen. I laughed a lot. Like, uh, it really just got my sense of humour. Um, I thought it was great. It was like, there was no storyline. The storyline was absolutely appalling. The fact that they invested so much money into it it's like, you can tell they just got really baked one night and just were like, fuck it, let's make a film about food that can talk. I am completely okay with that. I really enjoyed it. I obviously went to Reading this year, um, obviously, because if you follow me on social media, you just know because I've been completely spamming you. I thought I would talk about some of the music I've been loving this month. Reading, obviously, as it is every year, was definitely one of my favourites. I think this is probably the best year that I've been. Not so much music-wise, to be honest with you. Like, the music was really good. For us, it was, like, the tent, like, the vibe and everything. It was, like, all the boys with us. And, like, we took our friend Liz, who's never been with us before. And it was just a really great vibe this year. So... That was amazing. Um, also, I got to see 21 Pilots, which was a big deal. Um, since Reading, probably one of my biggest music favourites this month has to be Fall Out Boy, which is such a throwback um, because Fall Out Boy used to be my favourite band when I was younger. Um, it was Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco was all I used to listen to. But yeah, Fall Out Boy was at Reading this year and we went and saw them a couple years ago. But um, as I tend to do quite often, I'm, unfortunately I got a migraine during them so I had to leave. Um, so this year I was like, right, that's it, we're getting right in there. So I befriended a guy behind us named Stuart, who was a lovely man, who was a massive fan of Fall Out Boy. Basically, he put me on his shoulders for this day in the scene. I have never in my life been so emotional during a gig, a concert, anything, than I was at that moment when he got me on his shoulders. I was weeping like a little bitch. I have never thought in my life that I'd be one of the girls who'd be able to get lifted up on someone's shoulders. That's literally what it was. I have memories of my sister teaching me the words to the Satan scene when I was like, I don't know, seven in the back of our old car. And I remember her teaching me the words and like, 
that was years ago like that was like 12 years ago and that's mad to me and then the fact that um i was able to get lifted up for the first time ever was like a massive massive deal to me you guys my spotify playlist is always linked down below um this is new slang by the shins which i've been really enjoying it's very chill oh my god what is wrong who is texting me went on to my um, Discover Weekly playlist and the number one recommendation is Falling by Box of Light and if you don't know who Box of Light are it's the band that Helen Anderson or Helen the Melon Lady however you know her is the lead singer of how amazing is that that's so exciting oh man I fucking love YouTube Um, another song that I've loved this month is called The Wolves Act 1 and 2 by Bonnie Vare. I first heard it in A Place Beyond the Palms. Tim and I watched it in Spain and um, I got a migraine, classic story of my life, and he played it when he was like packing my stuff for me and it just was a really sweet moment and I just really love the song now and so this is it. <laughs> by Bon Iver as well. I watched Into the Wild. Um, I don't know whether I talked about this in last month's favourites. I might have done actually. Um, and I loved it a lot and I don't know, I just really, really loved the film. And the soundtrack was basically the thing that made it for me. It was amazing. So I've been listening to the soundtrack quite a lot. And my favourite song... Yolo. My favourite song off the soundtrack is Society by Eddie Vedder. <laughs> that that is everything for today because I feel like I could talk about songs and makeup all day and you'll get really bored of me. If you guys enjoyed this video I hope you like hearing about what I've been enjoying throughout the month. If you don't that's okay I do lots of other things on this channel as well so if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe there's a button down there click it and you can see this every month every month and if you don't want to see this every month, you can see other things twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Be here. All of the products I can link, I will link down below as I always do. I hope you guys have the best day ever. And if you have just gone back to school or if you're going back to school soon, good luck. Um, I hope it goes smoothly for you. Just go in there exuding positivity and love and good energy and they will love you. So... Hope you guys have the best day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>